Fish can migrate through several Si Pandon channels, according to Senior Environmental Manager of the Don Sohong Hydropower Project, Dr. Peter Hawkins. The construction of a hydropower plant at Don Sohong Channel in Si Pandon area will not stop fish from migrating up and down as the fish can use other channels. The Mekong River splits into several channels in the southern province of Champasak, creating thousands of islands in the Si Pandon area. The scientists are tagging and releasing fish as part of a broad research program to better understand how fish migrate upstream across the Khon Falls in the far south of Laos. They say their research this year demonstrates that in the dry and early wet seasons, fish can migrate successfully through channels other than the Hu Sohong, which is proposed as the site of a hydropower project. My name is Peter Hawkins. I'm representing uh, Mega First, the developer of this project. Um, you've asked me about the, the progress. Uh, at this stage, the uh, project is still pre-construction. No construction work has occurred yet in terms of building any of the dam infrastructure. But the, the uh, part of the project I have been responsible for is the environmental monitoring, the baseline uh, data collection, particularly in relation to fish. And so in that area, the project has been very active, starting way back in 2009 with uh, baseline data collection around household catch but uh, it's also been active in constructing or improving fish passage in selected channels that are designed to compensate for the loss of Husahong as a fish passage in the future. The work of project biologists shows that environmentally activists are wrong when they claim that the Husahong is the only channel suitable for year-round migration across the Khon Falls. For a scientific proof, for scientific evidence, we need to sample in many different places with many different gears at many different times so that we can evaluate how successful the passage is for all species of fish, not just the ones that are most uh, commercially valuable or the ones that are most abundant at a particular time. They are also important, so part of our monitoring strategy has been to um, learn from the methods that the local fishermen use. According to Dr. Peter Hawkins, Senior Environmental Manager of the Don Sohong Hydropower Project, the fish tagging study is designed to evaluate the performance of channel modifications to improve migration pathways in the Sang Puak and Saddam channels. The fish species targeted for tagging are those that move upstream across the Khon Falls. There is an important dry season migration of small fish like Basoi from December to March each year, and then a second wave of migration by bigger fish which are moving upstream to spawn in the early wet season. Dr. Hawkins said recapturing tagged fish shows unequivocally their movements since capture. He said adding that the evidence he has so far validates information from local fishers and verifies that fish can indeed migrate through channels other than Hu Sohong. So part of our monitoring strategy has been to um, learn from the methods that the local fishermen use. They have been here a long time. They know a lot about the changing behavior of both the fish and the hydrology, the river the quality of the water, the depth of the water, the speed of the flow. They, they have to adjust for all those things in their fishing. And so we've learned from them a whole range of different gears that we can use to catch different kinds of fish at different times of year. And now we have quite an array of different gears, but we use them all, all the time. The main requirement for success of the fish tagging research is achieving a high rate of recapture and return of the tags, he said. By gauging the proportion of tagged to untagged fish in recaptures, project staff are able to estimate of the number of fish in an area. Laos welcomes comments on Don Sohong Dam as environmentalists from the MRC and NGOs in Laos express concern that the dam would cause a number of negative impacts especially in sediments and river morphology, water quality, social impact, and dam design and safety.
There are also concerns that the dam would lead to the extinction of the Irrawaddy dolphin, whose dwindling numbers include a small part in the Mekong at the Laos-Cambodia border. The government has made a strong commitment to address the concerns of environmentalists over the potential impacts of the Don Sohong hydropower project, saying, We will continue to be transparent and cooperate in good faith in the spirit of the 1995 Mekong Agreement. This is how we develop successful and sustainable hydropower projects in Laos with safeguards for the environment and benefits for the people.